What is going on guys? Ryan from Living Salty here. Welcome to the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show 2024. Today we are at the Camus booth taking a look at their all new 291 center console. This is a perfect hybrid between inshore and offshore fishing. An absolutely beautiful boat. Come on aboard and take a look. with all of our boat walkthrough videos, we're gonna go ahead and start at the bow of the boat. So come on up here and take a look. Now the first thing you're probably going to notice is the really, really wide beam at the bow of the boat over here. Now this 28.6, uh, technically center console here has a 9.6 beam and it really shows in the bow of the boat. Look at all the room you have for all your family, friends, or fishing activity up here. This is an absolutely amazing start to the boat. Now taking a look at the bow of the boat over here, you're gonna see they have a little bit of a platform up here for you to stand on, but it's a little bit different. If you guys have watched my other Camus walkthrough videos, I've done their hybrid boats as well, and they have a big old casting platform on the front. This is where it's gonna come in a little bit different than their fully hybrid, like more of an inshore fishing boat, um, you're going to have a little bit smaller of a platform over here in the front where your anchor rail is. Speaking of anchor rail, pop this open and take a look. You've got a beautiful, beautiful finished anchor rail in here. You have a windlass on in there and looks like you have your controls and you have a wash down as well. Now we have some beautiful U-shaped forward seating over here that is going to be very comfortable. You have a light, nice low profile bow rail here as well. So when the seas get rough, you can hold on to it nice and comfortably. They have a nice brown finish to their upholstery here. It feels like very good quality. If you actually take a look right over here on the back of the headrest, you're going to have a nice teak finish that they're going to be carrying throughout the entire boat that really complements the color of the boat and the upholstery very nicely. And these backrests are going to be very comfortable for your passengers that are going to want a forward facing seating experience when you're riding along on this beautiful 29 Camus. And in addition to the seats here, we're going to have a little bit of under seat storage on both the port and starboard side of the boat. You see a very big area wraps around to the front over there as well. So you have plenty of room to store all your life jackets, dock lines, bumpers, any of that kind of stuff you might want to be storing under your forward seating here. In the bow of the boat here, we do have one in-floor well, which is going to be quite large. Looks like that would be a good little fish well, probably store some fish in there. Or like I said, maybe bumpers, life jackets, any of that kind of stuff. Dry storage for the day. Now, one of my favorite things to see on any center consoles nowadays is the addition of coffin box lounge seating over here. So not only are you going to have a really comfortable seat that fits two people on here, you're also going to have a ton of storage underneath. I mean, look at the size of that hatch. Now, just between this um, storage compartment here, the in-floor one you just showed that we just showed you guys, and the one that is underneath the forward seating, that is pretty much all the storage you would actually even need in this boat to begin with, and we have even more coming. So, I love to see the addition of these coffin box on more and more center consoles nowadays. And like I said, you can fit two people here very comfortably. It's molded to the shape of your body. You got armrest. You have a cup holder right here on the side, a little handrail. You got um, rod holders here as well. I mean, this is just a great addition and you still have plenty of room in the bow to walk around. So I love to see these coffin box um, lounge seatings on center consoles. Hope to see more manufacturers doing this soon. Now let's go take a look at the helm station. Now really quick, let's show off the console cabin to you guys. Nothing huge. It's definitely not going to be one of your larger cabins, but you are going to have room for a head in there. Looks like you're going to have all of your control switches right over there. Like I said, nothing too huge but it definitely gets the job done. 
Now making our way down to the helm station, you guys are gonna see we have a triple panel glass windshield over here. I know a lot of people like that kind of style of glass windshield. They offer it here on the 29 Camus. Now come take a look at the helm station. This is where the jewelry really shines. Look at this absolutely beautiful finish on our seating we have here. Very, very high quality helm seat here. Remember that teak fi finish I was telling you guys about? They carried it throughout to our helm seat. It looks absolutely amazing, matched with the brown upholstery. You can have you know, your preference on how you'd like to sit, either in the forward pos the seating position or the leaning position, just like that. We're gonna have little buttons that you really would honestly see on like big sport fish boats where you have a little push button with your big teak hand rest. I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. I mean, what more could you want on a center console of this size? Super comfortable, very professional helm station they have here. Now taking a look at my favorite part of any boat, the actual helm station where all the magic happens. This is really, really impressive. So let's just talk about the teak finish carried through the console too here as well. You're gonna have your Mercury display, you're gonna have trim tabs, your Mercury controls, you're gonna have a very nice panel with all of your switches that are gonna glow, including your lights, you got your bilge pumps, fresh water, salt water locked down, all that kind of good stuff, matched with twin Garmin screens over here. These are big old Garmin screens, you're gonna be able to see plenty when you're out there fishing really beautiful and to top it off they added a nice area over here you guys know my pet peeve you always gotta have some place to put your phone and they have a nice little rigid rigid like uh truck bed liner kind of material here to prevent your phone or any keys wallets anything from sliding around and you got a little nice carbon fiber finished pad here that's going to prevent it from falling off you're also going to have all your cup holders over here in addition to some dry storage like i said phone wallet keys any of that kind of stuff you don't want to lose when you're out on the water we are going to have an electronics box up here not too big i mean you can see it's a little like mini electronics box but this is probably going to be our vhf yep we're going to have our vhf radio right in there for you and right above my head you will see we have some life jacket storage so you remember i was showing you guys up at the bow of boat saying you could put your life jackets and stuff in there well you don't even have to because you have plenty of room to put it right above your head here at the helm station. So one thing I want to point out was honestly one of the first thing I noticed when I hopped on this 291 Camus here was the thickness of this helm pad. This is crazy. So it goes that far on my fingers there. That is how thick this helm pad is. And when you step on it, you can see it squishes down really like a lot. Like you're really gonna feel that shock, shock absorber when you are out there on the water. That is something I've honestly never seen on another boat. Hope to see it on more because this is gonna be a game changer in rough seas. Now while we're down here and we're just showing off the incredible helm seating helm area here for your uh, captain on the boat, you're also gonna have electronically controlled um, seating. So we have forward and backwards button. I mean, how cool is that? And if that's not cool enough for you, the port seat and the starboard seat are controlled individually. So the person on the starboard side wants to sit a little bit further back and you want to be closer, you can do that. This is really awesome. I know it's a little extra to have that electronically. You could probably just make it manual, but hey, that's a really cool feature on this boat. Now on the port and starboard side of the boat, we are going to have some side gunnel storage here. This is going to be perfect for all your boat brushes, um, boat poles, nets, gaffs, any of that kind of stuff. And then in the floor on the port and starboard side of the boat, we are going to have some more, some more storage. Now this is a perfect little thin long box that is perfect for your long thin fish like your mahi mahi. You have your um, kingfish, wahoo, any of those kind of long skinnier fish. Perfect fish box over here. It even has a light that glows up this hatch very nicely. Absolute awesome feature for this 29 Camus. Now behind your helm seating over here, you're gonna have a really nice um, little leaning post so you can kind of sit here. If you're maybe here for watching, watching your rods in the back or anything like that, just a nice little upholstery addition to this Camus here. Along with that, you're gonna have four rod holders and you're gonna have some really big cup holders. I mean, that goes about this deep. So that is gonna be holding your big old Yeti cups and stuff that you'd like. It's a nice oversized cup holder on this boat. Right underneath, you're gonna have a nice frigid, rigid cooler that's gonna be on a sliding deck system with a little bit of a marine mat on top of it. So if you wanna stand on it, you're not gonna be sliding around. Really nice feature on the back of this 
helm station over here. And if you take a look up at the T-top, we're gonna have some more rod storage. Looks like you're gonna have five going across the top and the two kingfish rod holders going out the side. So this portion of the boat here in the stern is gonna really remind me of their hybrid boats and something I loved about the Camus boats so much. You're gonna have a nice big deck over here for lots of fishing needs. You're gonna be able to cast, throw casting nets and everything. You're also gonna have a folding seat over here, which is gonna be really comfortable for all your guests. Sit on here, you could probably fit two people very comfortably if they wanna have some forward-facing stern seating, but it folds right up really easily. You're gonna have cup holders on the port and starboard side. In addition to this, on this huge casting platform back here, we're gonna have two huge live wells. So come take a look, get a nice close look on that one. We're gonna have an identical one on the port side of the boat, but this live well is massive, which just proves proves time and time again that Camus makes an absolutely beautiful fishing boat. They really keep the fishermen in mind. They got a nice frigid rigid cooler, big live well options. I mean, that's exactly what you want to see here on your fishing center console. Now to cap off this boat here, you're going to have a twin Mercury 300s with power poles in the back. And these Mercury 300s are going to be on jack plates here. So you're still going to be able to run in skinny, skinny water, really nice feature. And you're going to be able to go plenty fast with these Mercury 300s. All right. Now the moment that most of you guys are probably waiting for, how much can you get this 29? came as for well this boat as equipped is going to be a boat show special of $379,000 or you can get it starting at $300,000 so there's some things that you could probably save some money on I know the 300 Mercury is there isn't the cheapest option that's the max horsepower for this boat you got some nice big Garmin screens that you could probably get a little bit smaller electronics so this boat will be starting at $300,000 but as equipped $380,000. Well, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this walkthrough video here of the 29 Camus. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really loved coming by the Camus booth this year. This boat's absolutely beautiful and you guys should definitely go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the like button. Definitely consider subscribing down below. Make sure you guys go check out this video on the left side of the screen from the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show this year. I think you guys are really gonna like it as well. Until my next video, remember to keep living salty.